So Mayo as a whole, I mean, it's the third biggest county in the country, but one of the least populated. So you've got that wide open space from the far north in the Cagey Fields right the way down to Killary Fjord, the harbour there. You know, throughout we've got the most remote mountain range in the country in the Nathan Begg range. We've got blue flag beaches right around the county. It's just, it's the whole package and the people just make the place. My name's Jed Dowling and what we do is we're hiking, stargazing, training and development. So terra firma means solid ground. The whole thing started back in 2013. Both myself and my partner, Georgia McMillan, we were doing the degree in outdoor education course at GMIT, which is now ATU. We were up the mountains uh, camping and we started to see a lot of light pollution in the area. So it was a bit of a light bulb moment, excuse the pun, and Georgia said, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna start looking into wilderness. Anyway, we came across a dark sky park in Scotland, Galloway Forest Park, and that was it, the idea was born. 2013 we started looking at the research for the Dark Sky Park, eventually 2016 the accreditation was uh, given for a gold tier Dark Sky Park, that's managed now by the National Parks and Wildlife and since then 2016 the Astronomy Club in Newport was set up and there's been a festival running ever since which is growing year on year so this year 3rd to the 5th of November is the 2023 festival. It started off initially as just an astronomy event, but since then, the second year, it became arts and culture, it became environmental issues, because the, the initial idea for the Dark Sky Park was never a tourism event or a tourism product. It was more about conservation and conserving what we had above the skies of Mayo. Our signature experience, if you like, is the magic myth of moonlight. Don't always get clear skies over Mayo, but we always have dark skies. So what we've done is we've coupled up with a friend of ours who's a storyteller, he's a magician, and he interweaves like real close-up magic with local stories. So he's a Shonachy, he's collected stories from around the, the county, from fishermen, from locals. He interweaves them into the night. We're trying to bring people back to the fireside to the hearth and you know engage them in those stories and slow people down a little bit you know give them a connection to place give them a connection to their place in the universe so when you look up above you can't help but being moved by what you see <laughs>